Finally tonight, we're staying in the Steel City for a little bit of showbiz. It's the first showing of a brand new comedy written by and starring people from South Yorkshire. The producers, as simply can, have even persuaded a legend of the sitcom world, Geoffrey Holland, also known as... Spike from Heidi High to take part two. Ian's got a ticket to the premiere in Sheffield tonight. They've got a good sense of humour in South Yorkshire, so I'm expecting lots of belly laughs, Ian. Oh, I think you're right, Amy. I'm sure that is the case. But could you imagine what it's like trying to get a, a new sitcom off the ground, following in the footsteps of all those great series that we've known over the years? Well, this one called Simply Ken could just be the next big hit. Who knows? Here's a clip. Where have you been? I've been looking for you everywhere. Dad, I need to chat to you. It's your line. Come on, it's your line. Say it properly, please. Where have you been? <laughs> I've been looking for you everywhere. When I've been over here with me. Why don't you do something to help me? Well, what can I do? Set the table. You don't need any brains for that. Well, Craig Woodhouse stars in it, and also the creator and the man behind it. And it's all about this man, poor old Ken Codd, who falls upon hard times. Where did the idea come from? Well, it started uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, I wanted to kind of base something on someone who was always feels that he was deluded. Uh, he didn't think anything was his fault. I will stress that it's not semi-autobiographical. <laughs> I just want to stress that very quickly. So it is about someone who feels cheated. Uh, he thinks that nothing is his fault. And it's funny, though, but you can find comedy in this tragedy. I'd like to think so, yes. Well, I think it's funny, because I wrote it. Uh, the big test would be if anybody else would find it funny. Uh, so, yeah, I think it's the comedy drama aspect. Yeah, it's the pathos. And it's great to have the Sheffield links, of course, because you're a, a, a man who lives in this city. But how difficult is it to get a sitcom off the ground? Well, I mean, uh, Rob Sadler, and, uh, the producer, and Reese Freeman, the director, have said that, you know, there's still a long way to go on this. So I think, you know, there will be a big ladder to climb here. We've just got to keep... Um, trying to convince the important people and, you know, without railroading, yeah. of course, or getting in anyone's way, but just trying to convince them that there is mileage in this. Right. Well, Which is what, what you're trying to do tonight, of course, and you've got the cast here who we'll talk to in just a second, some of them. Um, but remember uh, Geoffrey Holland, of course, who starred as Spike in uh, Heidi High. Just take a quick look at this. First violin, second violin, <laughs> first trumpet. Look at the state of that trombone part. <laughs> That's Jack Maxwell. He used to fall over the stand every night, regular as clockwork. You could set your watch by him, drunken idiot. <laughs> What's he written on the bottom? They're all us writing things. Play loud, he goes flat here. <laughs> Jeffrey, great to see you. You've been in some fantastic sitcoms over the years. Why did you want to get involved in this? Well, I'm playing granddads now. You see, I can't, I can't, I can't do Spike forever. But uh, it's great fun. I'm her granddad. I'm his dad. Right. And uh, and it's, this this show has got great potential. I just do wish it goes on. I really do. It's got legs. That's right. It and has. you're surrounded by some great. Great colleagues Including here. Including my wife, Judy. <laughs> Judy, I mean, why did you want to get involved? Well, I suppose really because he was in it. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have a choice. <laughs> no, I didn't have a choice. No, I'm thrilled to be in it and, I, and, and it will have legs. I know it will. It's a great script and a fabulous cast and we're all very excited about it. Great, and we'll have some laughs, won't we, Jeff? We will indeed. That's the whole point of it. Which is what it's all about. So many people here we could talk to. Sorry we haven't got time. We're running out of time and the weatherman will get cross or weather lady. But good Good luck with it, and uh, when can we see it? Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, hopefully uh, some t television channel might be lucky enough to help us. I just want to quickly say hello to my son, if I may. You've done it. Have I said hello? Hello, hello to Stanley Shepherd, age 13. Hello. I look forward to seeing you in the weekend. This is John, this is Ellie, that's Kelly. Great. Nice to see you all. Thanks very much. Let's wish it luck. Yeah, absolutely. Good luck indeed. And uh, good evening to Ollie, who's 13, from all of us at Look North too. <laughs> can you imagine doing... Uh, Doing a comedy with your partner, working together so close Not and then really. going home together. I'm more disturbed about Ian's reference to me being a weather lady. I knew full well I was doing weather tonight. <laughs> Only on weekends. I'll, I'll have words later. Let me show you a couple of pictures uh, that you've uh, sent in. Well, this is.